hi everyone are you ready for another mini vlogmas series so this one i am going to be finally unbagging my september do you remember this bag my september ipsy glam bag plus this is the one that had that little sticker that said the post office received the uh, package unopened and i was missing a few items so i think i've got it all together so i hope that you stick around and join me Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to Mini Vlogmas number 14. So yeah, I'm so excited to see you guys. I'm so excited that I'm finally opening up my September Ipsy Glam Black Bag Plus. I know there's an Ipsy regular bag from October, from September someplace in here too, so I will worry about that another day. But to start off my Vlogmas, I will show you my ugly Christmas dress. I don't know if anybody remembers this one from a few years ago. It's got these bells on it. We've got, I've got jeans on underneath, so yeah. A little bit of uh, the uh, animal print fur trim. This makes it fun. So, of course, I had to dig this out because, yeah, you don't get to wear it every day. So, that and the matching earrings, and I'm good to go. But, you know, I think I need a different one of these. I think I need one that's got kind of like that cheetah print on it. I think that would really, really be good. So anyway, I'm going to try to get into this before I lose my voice again. But anyway, to start off, I just want to show you. I got another friend mail Christmas card from Barbara Jean in Texas. Just a little cute card. Happy holidays. Nice little Christmas plaid. A happy little jolly Santa Claus. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Hope your holiday is great, Barbara Jean. So just another little card. Love it. So thank you so much, Barbara Jean. Alrighty, now I have no idea where my um, explanation of where everything went on this. Like I said, it's been from uh, September, but this bag would have cost me $28. I think I got a really, or $25 or $20, $25. I think I got a good deal on it. So the first thing I'm pulling out here is a super hyaluronic amino acid cleanser by Shermanic. I'm not sure if I've heard too much of this brand, but I love getting cleansers. We got some Sunday Riley. Good jeans. Fell out of my package here. So this one is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. So I know that's a good brand that most people seem to love. Got this really cool brush. I'm not sure what kind of brush it is. Um, love what you do. Alrighty, so yeah, so it's a realer brush and yeah, looks so nice and fluffy. Maybe I don't know if this is what it's for. It's tapered, so is this for maybe doing contour or maybe for blush or highlighter? Not exactly sure what to do with it, but it does feel really nice, soft, and luxurious. And then we got this, um, yeah, I'm not sure how to say that. Let me put it up here. So it's Canalogica, it's a facial hydration oil with hemp extract. So I love facial cleansers, facial serums. So that looks like a really good one to have. And the fifth item in here was from East 29th. Let's see what this is. Don't this serum with hyaluronic acid, a cinnamon, lemon rind, and vitamin C and E. I'm assuming it's another facial serum, so another good one to have. And then I did have some extras in that. So the extras that I got was some uh, eye mask. These are 24K gold collagen eye mask from Butology. And it's a uh, 12 in there, so going to enjoy using those. And I know I had mentioned, and I meant to try this out today, this foundation, just to see what it was like by Yenza that I got, um, that I opened up last night. And um, yeah, so this is what I was talking about. This was that mask that I got like two falls ago. And I love it from Yenza. It's a pumpkin turmeric. And it's 
when you put it on it's kind of like oily focus please and gritty and you kind of put it on and it's like goo and it's got that kind of pumpkin smell so it's kind of nice and polished and as you're rubbing it on you're like oh this is gross I don't know do I like it do I not like it and then when you finally wash it off it's like oh my god my face feels amazing my complexion feels so soft so hydrated so when I see this in the extras I always try to pick it up so yeah so those are my extras and that was everything in my Ipsy September bag I can start using them Alrighty, so we'll do the coffee first. So the coffee that I picked out yesterday for my coffee of the day was Pete's and it was a dark roast. And I thought I was going to have to put maybe extra creamer or extra sugar in here, but I just made it my regular way and it was perfect for the morning. Really, really good. The one that I picked out for tomorrow, I'm looking forward to trying this one. This is by Cinnabon and it's the classic cinnamon roll coffee. So I will try this one tomorrow morning or it's only nine o'clock I might have another coffee tonight who knows right alrighty so the wine and of course because I've got this print on I have to get my Robin with a Y wine glass with her animal print dress and her Swarovski crystals the wine of the day from my sip and savor snowman advent calendar is um Chardonnay from Lodi, California, 2019. And again, just a little festive label. Not sure if it's going to tell us anything on the back. Probably not too much. I think same as yesterday. Alrighty. Alrighty, and again, I forgot to pre-open it, so I might make funny noises or a funny face. Okay, I'm giving it okay. Alrighty. Smells good. All right, we're gonna put a little bit in here. Oh, you can see that. Her dress even. It's so cute. I just love that one. Alrighty, so let's kind of swirl this around. It smells really good. So I think kind of like the other Chardonnay the other night. I kind of smell like a uh, Maybe a little bit of lemon zest in this one, maybe, that I don't think I picked up the other night. Um, maybe some apples, maybe some pears. Alrighty, cheers everybody. Happy Vlogmas, number 14. Alrighty, so it's, it's, it's really kind of like, wow, gives you a mouth a little zinc. So yeah, so it's, you know, it's a Chardonnay, so it's dry. So it does kind of dry the upside of your palate, but back here, the, the acidity, and it just kind of starts making your mouth water. And it's crisp. It's got a really, like a, like you just bit into a Granny Smith apple type crisp. You just kind of get that flavor that just goes everywhere. And I think maybe, did I take some orange maybe? Maybe it's the lemon that might must be that citrus and the apple that's kind of mixing together, but it's really, really good. And good eye for truffles. <laughs> oh my gosh. So excited to do this one. This is gonna be an easy one to pick because it's the last one in the package. Alrighty. So I'm not sure. I don't think I've really been describing the flavors too good, but I just know they're yummy good. Alrighty, so thanks Trish and Alex. Really appreciated these. Mm -hmm. So I'm not tasting really anything other than chocolate. Just a really sweet milk chocolate, maybe like a moussey type texture. It just kind of starts melting in your mouth. It's it's just really, really good. I just have enjoyed every single one of these so anyway I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in and joining me for vlogmas number 14 looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow and I've kept my voice so I'm doing pretty good so yeah see you guys tomorrow have a great night thanks for joining me love you guys you guys are awesome bye bye everyone